in this section we'll be talking about trigonometric identities so it is better to remember all this Sokatoa complementary angles and then those things we know all students take calculus in the fourth quadrant only cosine positive since cosine is positive it's a reciprocal secant is also positive so you can see here sine negative x will give me sine x with a negative sign cosecant also will give me with a negative sign cosine negative x gives me cosine x so then it's a reciprocal secant negative x also will give me a second x now tangent negative x will be negative tangent x because it is in the fourth quadrant tangent negative so cotangent also negative now there is another reciprocal relation we have mentioned here so sine x is 1 over cosecant x so then you can say cosecant x is also 1 over sine x cosine x is 1 over secant x and secant x is 1 over cosine x tangent x is 1 over cotangent x and also you can say cotangent x is 1 over tangent x also we could say tangent x is sine x over cosine x so then cotangent x will be cosine x over sine x now we'll talk about identities we have seen in the unit circle sine squared x plus cosine squared x is 1 now if you divide both sides by cosine squared x so you get cosine squared over cosine squared will be 1 sine over cosine is tangent so it's tangent squared and 1 over cosine is secant so it will be secant squared same way if you divide these by sine squared both sides sine squared over sine squared is 1 cosine over sine is cotangent and then 1 over sine is cosecant so these are three identities we have in trig functions now we'll be using all of this to prove some useful results we like to show that 2 plus cotangent squared x over cosecant squared x minus 1 equals sine squared x let's work let us work on the left side so you have 2 plus cotangent squared x and you can find cotangent squared x from here which is cosecant squared x minus 1 so I can write 2 plus cosecant squared x minus 1 divided by cosecant squared x minus 1 now this one we can replace by cosecant squared x over cosecant squared x just to make the common denominator so then you can see that you have cosecant squared x in the denominator in the numerator now you get 2 plus cosecant squared x minus 1 minus cosecant squared x so you will see that cosecant squared cosecant squared will cancel out you get 1 over cosecant squared and we know that 1 over cosecant is sine so this one is simply sine squared x we are done next we like to show a very simple one we have sine x cosecant over tangent x equals cotangent x it is just one line solution you can easily see from the left side sine x cosecant x if you multiply here you can see sine x cosecant x is 1 so you can replace here by 1 1 over tangent x and we know that 1 over tangent x is cotangent x we are done example 3 we need to show that tangent u plus secant u whole squared equals 1 plus sine u over 1 minus sine u so to prove that one let's start from the left side tangent u is same as sine u I'm avoiding the parenthesis cosine u plus secant is 1 over cosine u and I have everything squared now so I'm writing cosine squared u now if you look at the identities here so cosine squared can be written as 1 minus sine squared so I write 1 minus sine squared u and in the top we have 
1 plus sine u squared. Now, further, we can factor this, like a squared minus b squared type, difference of the squares. So you can write 1 minus sine u, 1 plus sine u. And then in the top, I can write 1 plus sine u. Since it is squared, I'm writing it twice. So one factor will cancel out here. So we got our answer, 1 plus sine u over 1 minus sine u. So we are done. Now we are taking fourth example. It's very simple. We have sine x over cosecant x plus cosine x over secant x should be 1. How do you see it? It's very simple. You can see that you have sine x times 1 over cosecant x. So we know that 1 over cosecant is sine x. So if you say sine x over cosecant x, this is basically sine squared x. So you are getting sine squared x. And cosine over secant, so 1 over secant is again cosine, so cosine times cosine is cosine squared x. And you know the sine squared x plus cosine squared x is our first identity, which is 1. So we are done.